Okay, um, good afternoon. Uh, people, this is Omo Chuku right? I was coming to your live from the premises of our uh, Federal High Court, Abuja. As you can see, we have our lawyer, the eminent uh, barrister Ifan Yejofo. He is live here with us, and he will be giving us our uh, tips and uh, the roundup of how it went down today at the Federal High Court. Barrister, please, our people are eager all over the world, waiting to hear from you to give us a roundup of what happened today at the court. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, today was actually a jump for before now for a report of a uh, of appeal process. When the matter was um, when we appeal against the judge of uh, this court, the ten and seven count charge. So the court adjourned it for today for a report of um, subsequent for the court of appeal. So today, uh, that was on Friday. We had rumors about the new charge they filed, and the said charge was not served on us. Neither was it served on uh, our client, Oyedu Madison and Manikan. So we are in court this morning and uh, expected them to serve us any charge. We are not seeing us out with any charge. However, Oyendu was not in court today for reasons they cannot uh, they didn't explain. Uh, though I'll be seeing him shortly now to see him and find out what actually transpired. Um, the two actions, the matter went on and in view of the decision of the court of appeal on Oyendu's case, which is now before the, before the Supreme Court, the court is very, uh, very specific that Mazen Nam the Kano cannot be prosecuted in any court in Nigeria henceforth. Cannot be tried, cannot be investigated, and also prohibited them from further detaining him. This is a judgment of court of appeal which is binding on this court. So and other other declarations made by the court, which was also reported to the court. And in view of that, the court had done the matter sooner die, pending when the Supreme Court concludes the the, 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 the appeal before the Supreme Court. So and after after that they mentioned another case. That apparently has to do with the charge, that charge that was rumored about on Friday. Uh, which we, I went to them when I came, we came to the court. A little silk chief, Michael Togoma, who led us, asked me to meet them. I met them and I, I requested for a copy of the file, the charge. They said I don't have a stack copy of <laughs> their file. And also went to the court registry to demand for a copy of the charge. Of the charge. They also denied they having any copy with them. But they mentioned it in the in second criminal matter they mentioned, they, 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 that was taken by court. And obviously, entirely new charge and entirely charge, with, entirely new charge with a different number. However, we can't see proceed because the judgment of the court of appeal is very clear and, and certain and compelling that it cannot be tried on any charge before any court in Nigeria. It cannot be detained again. It cannot be investigated. It cannot be prosecuted. So that on, the, on that on that authority too, the court also has done the matter since that. So we have nothing before this court again. We are straight court. We have already appeal, filed appeal against order for stay. Granted by the Court of Appeal, which I was was certain brief to not be filed by the Supreme Court. So any month from now, we'll communicate to you on date because we have there's a timeline waiting to share here it, which is going to be done uh, expeditiously. Uh, it's not you know, done would, between now and two weeks. A date to be fixed for the hearing of the, of the appeal against the other state institution. Want my lords uh, find in our favour. That will be the end of the case. Now we go. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Barrister. Uh, we just want to know, how much writers want to know, and as well as Biafrans all over the world also want to know, we are the federal government represented in court today, and as well as the DSS. Uh, the federal government was represented in court today by the DPP, the Director of Public Prosecution, along with the uh, Chief State Council, Kasua Esquire. They were in court today on, the, on behalf of the federal government. So a lawyer from DSS also was in court who came to inform the court uh, that our client declined to come to court because we actually the court inquired. He said only this will not come to court. That uh, he declined. So but I will see him in a short while to confirm from me what actually happened. So maybe in my update later in the day I will tell you first what uh, what happened. Thank you. Okay, once again before you leave, please can you please tell us the implications of the further illegally detaining of Mazen and the after the appeal call of October 13 has discharged and uh, declared that he should be let free. What you are know, the implications? You know the effect of the order they obtained on 28th of October 2022, understanding the execution of the judgment of court appeal, is to neutralize that judgment, that order, directing them to release him. Okay. So by obtaining that stay, it means that that order can no longer be executed. Then they went, the judgment of the court of appeal is there, the Supreme Court is there, delivered. So that was why we are we filed appeal against that order, that order staying in execution. And which is coming up any month from now for here. As a matter of fact, we're going to speak up today for follow up on the date. Thank okay. You. Thank you very much. We yes, thank sir. you. I appreciate you for all your efforts. I uh, want you to continue in doing all yes, the sir. good jobs you are doing yes, for Umuchineke. 
and we know the Almighty is the Kabi I'm very proud you. of you, and thank you for your prayers. I appreciate it. Thank you for your We support. are solidly behind you. Absolutely. We are solidly you. super so behind you. Take yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, we have all over who, uh, who has come from different parts of this country and even outside the country who have come to be in solidarity with Mazen and the Kalu's court case came up today at the Federal High Court. And from the horses smart, we've heard how it went down today in the court. I am signing off here today, and this is Omuchuku Writers interviewing. Thank you very much, and God bless you.